The Sonos Roam is the smaller version of the Sonos Move that's more waterproof and comes in at a more affordable price, retailing for $179 US dollars or $159 US dollars for the Roam SL, which doesn't come with a mic. Over the past six months, I've come to really like the Sonos Roam, and the first thing I like about it is its sound. I've used this speaker as my main shower speaker and travel speaker for the past six months, and given how crappy a lot of Bluetooth shower speakers sound out there, by by comparison, the Sonos Roam sounds excellent. Its sound is surprisingly clear and good in the highs and mids, and you do get some bass with the Sonos Roam as well, though it's not room-filling bass like you get with a lot of other Sonos speakers. But for what I'm using the Sonos Roam for, I don't really need room-filling bass. Another cool thing the Sonos Roam has that's borrowed from the Sonos Move is Auto True Play, which uses the mics on the Sonos Roam to automatically tune the sound of the Roam depending on where you place it in a given room. Room. Sonos also makes it easy to adjust the EQ of the speaker in the Sonos app. And if you have two Sonos Roams, you can stereo pair them together to get even better sound. And of course, you can group in the Sonos Roam with your other Sonos speakers for true whole home audio. And the Sonos Roam makes a nice addition to the mix because you can easily move it around your home to whatever location you want to play something. Another thing I've enjoyed about the Sonos Roam is it has both Wi-Fi and it has Bluetooth, which is a bit of a rare for a Sonos product and it's a great feature especially when you're traveling with the Sonos Roam and you don't want to have to deal with trying to switch the speaker over to another Wi-Fi network and switching from Wi-Fi to Bluetooth is pretty easy. You use the button at the back of the Roam, hold it down until you hear a Bluetooth sound and see the status light color of the Sonos Roam switch from white to blue. Confirming the speaker is now in Bluetooth mode. When you connect a device to your Sonos Roam, you'll hear a chime from the speaker confirming a successful connection. And when playing music on the speaker over a Bluetooth connection, I honestly can't tell a difference in sound quality. It's a very good sounding Bluetooth speaker. Now, while a lot of features with the Roam won't work while in Bluetooth mode, one that does is Sonos Voice Control, Sonos's own assistant. You can still use it for basic speaker control like play, pause, skip, turn up and down the volume, and check the battery level. Hey Sonos, what's the battery level? The battery is at about 80%. Now, most of the time when I'm at home, I keep this speaker in its Wi-Fi configuration mode. You can always tell when it's in Wi-Fi mode by the status light being white and not blue. And the reason I do that is so I can use features like Amazon's Assistant or Sonos Voice Control so I can just play music by using my voice. Wi-Fi mode also allows you to group the Sonos Roam with other Sonos speakers like my Sonos Move, which also lives in my bathroom. And on Wi-Fi, you can use Apple AirPlay to send music and other media to your Sonos Roam Roam and group it with other AirPlay speakers like my Onkyo receiver and HomePod mini. The next thing I really like about this speaker is its size. I found it's really easy to slip into a bag I used on my recent trip to Asheville, or you could also easily put this into a carry-on bag for a flight. Overall, I found this speaker to be incredibly well designed. It charges via USB-C on the back, and I was bummed it didn't come with a standard wireless charger Sonos makes for it, but was surprised to learn the speaker also supports Qi charging, so my existing chargers already work with it. You can place the speaker on a surface in either a vertical or horizontal configuration, and in its vertical configuration, it barely takes up any room. The button controls are also the same intuitive controls you'd come to expect from Sonos, except there's no swiping to skip forward or skip back. For for those functions, you'll need to press the play pause button, double press it to skip forward, and triple press it to skip back. You can also press and hold the play pause button to group your Roam into other Sonos speakers that are already playing something nearby. It's one of my favorite Sonos speaker features because it's so simple yet it works so well. And the Sonos Roam actually debuted a brand new Sonos speaker feature called Sound Swap which allows you to push music from the Sonos Roam to another Sonos speaker or pull music from another Sonos speaker to the Sonos Roam. You do this either way by pressing and holding the play pause button on the Sonos Roam until you hear a third chime and then the media will transfer. Note, this does not work with some older Sonos speakers. 
and Sonos has a list on their website of speakers this feature is incompatible with. The other design feature of the Sonos Room I've really enjoyed over the past six months that I did mention earlier is this thing is waterproof. It comes with an IP67 waterproof rating, which means it can handle being submerged up to one meter of water for up to 30 minutes. Because of this, the Sonos Room makes for a great shower speaker or speaker by the pool or in any outdoor scenario. The larger Sonos Move is water resistant as well, but not to this extent. You can't submerge it or let it get really wet. Another thing I really like about the Sonos Roam is you can choose between multiple voice assistants to use on the device. You can choose between the Google Assistant, Amazon Assistant, or Sonos' own Sonos Voice Control. For me, I use the Amazon Assistant on my Roam because you can use it with Sonos Voice Control on the speaker without having to uninstall and reinstall the other one. With the Google Assistant, you can't also have Sonos Voice Control installed on the speaker at the same time. And in my experience, Amazon's Assistant and Sonos Voice Control are both faster at playing music on the speaker as well. Amazon's Assistant can play music from a variety of services like Spotify, Amazon Music, and Apple Music. Sonos Voice Control at the time of recording can only play music from Sonos Radio, Apple Music, Amazon Music, Deezer, and Pandora. Now, as we've discussed, this is a portable speaker, meaning it has a battery inside. So then, of course, the next question is, okay, how good is the battery life? Well, it's rated for a 10 hour battery life when playing media through the speaker at a moderate volume. And in my experience over the past six months, that seems about right. And Sonos claims the standby battery will last about 10 days. This also seems about right. I find I have to charge my Sonos Roam every 10 to 15 days or so, which isn't too bad. Now, there are two modes enabled by default on the speaker that can help get you even more battery life. Battery Saver will cause the Sonos Roam to power off automatically instead of going to sleep, and Wi-Fi Power Save will help optimize the Roam's battery life while on Wi-Fi. Now, while the Sonos Move has a battery replacement kit you can easily get from Sonos's website, unfortunately for the Sonos Roam, no battery replacement kit or program exists yet. A Sonos employee hinted on the the Sonos forum a year ago that the company was looking at offering a battery replacement service. But it's been about a year since that comment and no service has been launched yet. And that's the first real downside I've found with the Sonos Roam. Given that this speaker has been out for a bit now and it's more expensive than competing Bluetooth capable speakers, it would be nice going into that purchasing decision knowing that yes, there is in fact a battery replacement program for it that you can take advantage of later on in the life of your speaker. Another Another downside I've encountered with the Sonos Roam and all Sonos speakers is the lack of Google Cast support for Android devices. Well, this isn't as much of an issue for the Sonos Roam since it does have Bluetooth, so if you just want to stream audio from your Android device to a single speaker, yeah, you can do that with this speaker, but Android users are still being treated as second-class citizens in the Sonos ecosystem with the lack of cast support. Another downside I've run into with this speaker is with Sonos voice control. It doesn't always play the song I ask for when other assistants on the Roam, like the Amazon Assistant, will. Anyways, that's everything I've really liked liked and disliked about the Sonos Roam after six months. The Sonos Roam retails for 179 US dollars and also has an SL version at 159 US dollars that doesn't have a microphone. So you'll forgo features like the Sonos voice control and putting other assistants on it, auto true play and music swap. To me, given the features, sound quality, and overall design of the Sonos Roam, it is well worth what Sonos is charging for it. Though you can often find this speaker below its retail price, which just makes it an even sweeter deal. Or you can find a decent open box version of them at a retailer for around 129 US dollars like Best Buy. I've left purchase links here in this video and in the description below if you'd like to check the current price for the Roam and Roam SL. Hit that thumbs up button if you like this video and subscribe to the channel for more reviews like this one. And if you're looking for what to watch next, check out some of our other speaker reviews like our recent review of the Sonos Move, the larger portable speaker from Sonos. You can see that review by clicking on the video to the right. And if you want to further support what we do here at the channel, click that join button below. For six months later, I'm Josh Tedder. Thanks for watching.